Hey everyone, happy Saturday. I uh, wanted to do a check-in with you guys. It's pretty nice out today, feeling pretty okay. I kind of overdid it today uh, in the house with cleaning and organizing and going through things. So I'm at like a four or five, but it's nothing. It's fine. I'll be better a little later. Um, it's like 73 degrees out today. One of the issues I've had in the last couple weeks, mostly this week, um, is when I'm in the car, I can't really have the air conditioner on um, because of just the blowing in from the vents, even in the wintertime with the heat. Um, so I keep that off and then I can't have the windows down because of the wind and the heat in the car is just so stuck and hot and stuffy but it's still air so that makes the monster happy um, but then I have the Sun like beaming in on my face right now it's not like on too much oh, okay so yeah so like that and then it just aggravates it my face more um, so like by the time I get home from work I'm maybe like a whole pound lighter because I sweat so much in the car um, I've tried like, you know, cracking opposite windows, keeping the vent down on one, uh, but it just, any movement in the air, it, it just pisses my face off for the most part. So today I am driving my sweetheart's car. Um, I have a car, he has an SUV, so I'm picking him up from work today in his car, uh, just sitting outside the hospital doors. Um, so I actually have uh, the AC on, but he has more options for fan speed than I do. I only have four. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 12 fan options, level options in his car. So I can keep it on one or two and be okay. Um, for the most part, um. I try not to keep it on the whole car ride just because I don't want it, the inside of the car to get too cold and then upset my head because if the back of my head gets too cold then the monster's angry so it just doesn't really matter my monster does not like anything too hot too cold or moving air so if anybody has any tips on uh, where I could live for all that to happen that'd be great um, or even just for tips for riding in the car. I mean, the car ride is so awful for me in so many different ways and reasons. The bumps in the road, the swerving, the change in altitude, like turning, everything. And then you have like the wind and the air vents and the heat from the sun and it's just um, Yeah, we are finally all caught up at work with our conversion and switching over to the new software program finally it took forever um, but now we're done and I don't have to work this weekend I worked last weekend to help finish it up um, sorry just looking for him to come out so Friday yesterday I finished up everything that we had left over from the week before so now moving forward I can just tweak the new system and yeah it's it's great it's gonna free up a lot of time at work and can help my boss with sales and stuff I guess <sighs> yeah I just wanted to check in with you guys it's been a couple days my last video didn't get very many views I don't know why it was a good video it was a positive video uh, it was all good news I was feeling good even the title of the video was low pain equals big smiles but I don't know maybe the positive videos People don't like to watch as much I don't know but if anybody has any tips on how to survive the car ride with the temperature change that would be great um, I have picked back up on my meditation I feel so much better and so different it really does make a difference <clears throat> when you're serious about it and you do what you're supposed to do and you don't just like use it as an excuse to fall asleep or something um, I'm gonna keep going with that. Um, I actually am doing some courses online. 
Oh, I'm watching the people get their temperatures taken as they walk in the hospital. Ugh, scary. Mm. It's literally like at this point, at the entrance and the exit, that you find out if you can go home or not. Like, when Kareem walks down that hallway, he has no idea until he gets to not even five feet away from me in the building. And if his temperature's too high, he's gonna have to turn right back around and go back inside. Ugh, oh, it's so nerve wracking. I can't wait till this nonsense is over. Just, everybody needs to just stay healthy and stay away from each other. I saw him coming down the hallway. My honey's coming. Here he comes, here he comes. Let's hope his temp is good. And I will record again a little bit for you guys. He gets to come home! They let him out. He's home now. So we are going to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. And I wanted to show you guys this dry erase board sticker I got. It's so cool. It's a dry erase board. Oof. Can write our goals on it for the week and month. Do whatever, oops. Do whatever we want. But I just wanted to get back on and end the video and uh, tell you guys to stay safe and stay healthy. Oh, and I dropped the cap. Um, yeah, and to all my chronic warriors, stay extra safe, extra healthy. I hope your pain is low. And I hope everybody gets to get out and enjoy the weather today. And don't be in the wind too much because I know it hurts. Uh, click the normal buttons, notification, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will check back in with you guys soon.